Today, the search continues for Rory Pope, the two year old boy who went missing from his grandparents home in Eagle on Wednesday afternoon. Our Chase Beefelt joins us live with the latest from a news conference with the Ada County Sheriff's Office. Chase. Tammy, that news conference started at 1130. It just ended. I'm going to give you an update on all the newest information they have today. Rory has been missing for over 48 hours now since it is noon. He went missing noon on Wednesday. Uh, he was staying in town with his grandparents. They were just packing up, getting ready to leave, and they lost their two year old son. So uh, there are about 100 officers from Ada County Sheriff's Office and Eagle Police searching this neighborhood today. They're doing voluntary searches with consent from people just the community is so involved in this here at the legacy neighborhood. They are letting police inside their homes and searching for all areas where a two year old might hide. Now we heard in the press conference that Rory does have a history of playing hide and seek. He's very adventurous for a two year old, very full of energy for a two year old. And it, this could just be a simple matter of him being somewhere for this amount of time since he was missing. So they are asking, police are asking everyone in this neighborhood and in the area to search in places that a two year old might hide. Keep in mind, I am 5'9", so a two year old is about hip height. There are many places that a two year old can fit. I'll let uh, the Eagle Police Chief explain where a two year old might be hiding. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to do is ask the community to do a few things for us, especially anyone here locally. We'd like to ask everyone to search their own space, look under patio covers, look in sheds, look in your car, look in your garage, just to double check anywhere that a two year old could crawl into and hide. Now the Eagle Police Chief is also asking everybody in the area to check their ring doorbells. Many of these houses have ring doorbells nowadays since we are in the year 2020. Um, just check those ring doorbells between 1130 AM and 1220 PM on the day Rory went missing on Wednesday. That date, I believe, is September 2nd. They are asking everyone in this area to contact non-emergency dispatch with any tips they might have. And with that ring video, they are specifically asking you to not send that ring video via email or social media. They want you to call that non-emergency dispatch number. Again, that is not 911. They want you to call the non-emergency dispatch number. Tell them that you have that video. Since they have 100 officers in the area, they will come to you at your address and get that video from you and take that as a tip. Now, uh, they are searching a canal on the north end of this neighborhood that runs all the way to Canyon County. So there are, they said there are many bodies of water in this area. And speaking of bodies of water, this area, this pond right behind me is the pond that they focused much of their search on yesterday and today, and you might be able to see it, but just over my left shoulder right here, they are trying to put a generator or a pump into this pond. Logistically, there are so many things that go into uh, draining a pond. This is thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of water. You have to put that water somewhere. So they are in the process of doing that today. Eagle Police Chief says hopefully they can try to get this pond drained today. Now our viewers had some questions about why has there not been an Amber Alert issued and it really is quite simple. The police chief uh, of Eagle explained that to us earlier. There has to be two things. There has to be a positive abduction and there has to be a positive ID of the abductor and the abductor's vehicle. And they are telling me they have none of those things, which is why it, that has not met the national criteria for an Amber Alert. Um, there have not been either of those things confirmed. We are going to stay out here today. We are going to give you the latest information. We will be talking to community members. We will be uh, shooting video of police. We will give you the latest at the top of the four o'clock hour and anything that might come up during this time. Tammy. Okay, thank you, Chase. We're all so worried about Rory and our hearts go out to the family. Again, take a look at a picture of Rory taken shortly before he disappeared on Wednesday morning. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says they do not suspect foul play. If you happen to see Rory or have information about what happened to him, you are asked to call 911 or that non-emergency dispatch number.